Hey guys, Anthony Scott at Toy Hype USA. I'm here at PowerCon in California. I'm here with Corn Boy of the Four Horsemen. What's up, dude? I'm just chilling out here at Power Can at PowerCon, pushing the Mythic Legions figures and hanging out with fans. That's right. Guys, they don't have anything new to show this weekend, but they have some fantastic figures previously shown on display and you last had these at Toy Fair. They were at Toy Fair, yeah. Toy. We showed everything yeah. that we have here at Toy Fair. A lot of what we showed at Toy Fair was uh, prototypes, just castings and painted prototypes. But what we mm. have here that we have on display today are the first painted samples back from the factory. What we do is we send the prototypes, the paint masters, over to the factory for production, and they'll send these back to us that are all hand-painted samples that um, we approve or disapprove or, or maybe make adjustments in the articulation or the paints or, or something like that, and then they go into mass production. But one of the things that we were doing here this weekend at PowerCon as we were selling this orc repaint, um, we're calling him Unkin the Weapons, the Orc Weapons Master. And he's in inspired by a Masters of the Universe Classics character. Man at Arms. Man at Arms. We're not allowed to officially say, but. No, Mattel would sue you left no, and right. No, no, they wouldn't. They, they love us over Mattel. <laughs> but um, this is Unkin, and we sold him here. Um, less than an hour we sold a hundred of them and they were sold out in less than an hour so yeah. we did okay with him we had uh, a pre-order for him and the other mythic legions 1.5 figures a couple of months ago mm -hmm. and once we get those in stock at store horsemen we'll put them up for pre-order again on store horsemen once they're actually in stock and in the warehouse and we'll make announcements about all that through our facebook page through sourcehorseman.com and through kickstarter now, a lot of people still haven't gotten their order yet. I haven't right. through Kickstarter. I'm waiting to start the news on these. Mm -hmm. So when do you think all orders will be shipped out? We are almost done shipping out all the Kickstarter orders. We had to ship out the all-in sets, which are yeah. 34 figures plus uh, weapons packs and stuff. We That's Jim, one of the other four hey, horsemen right there. I'm picking his you? nose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Nice of him to stay on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so we we uh, are almost done shipping out all. Oh, I'm sorry. We started shipping out all the all-in packages first. Uh, George, and all the I'm seeing. I'm looking at George Gasper. He's over there laughing at that. If you guys want to <laughs> see that, October toys. <laughs> and so uh, we also are shipping out all the are shipped out all the 16 piece sets. And people were asking, oh, is it because they spent more money than us? And no, that's not it at all. It's because we need to make room in the warehouse, and those are large orders, so we shipped all those out. So now we're in the process of shipping all the other orders out. Let me pick Jim's nose here. Oh, God. Um, now <laughs> we're in the process. Like working at your office? Yeah, all the time, <laughs> every single I love day. It. <laughs> uh, that's why we're such happy guys. Yeah. That's why we get so much wonderful work done is because we just screw around all the time. Um, I'm surprised you get any work done. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> We don't. This was all done by elves. Oh, well, that explains the efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> the elves are good. Yeah. Um, but we're actually in the process of shipping out all the remaining orders for Kickstarter backers right now. Um, we're almost done with those, and then we're going to start shipping out all the store horsemen orders, uh, pre-orders that were made. So awesome. we're hoping that everybody will have all their stuff within the next three to four weeks. We're pushing right. for it. We're here at PowerCon, but our shipping guy is still back there in uh, New Jersey making sure that all that stuff's still going out as okay. we're out here playing around with toys. Now, looking at this guy, I yeah. bought one yesterday from you, uh -huh. and, you know, I couldn't figure out where the strap goes. You know, it goes, goes around his back. Yeah. I was a little confused by that. And also this plug on his back and all the other figures, mm -hmm. if you guys can see that. Uh, what is that for? You're talking about the square plug? Yeah, the square plug yeah, and he's, the two circles. He's referring to the square plug on the back yeah, here? Yeah, you can see it better on this yeah. guy. The two circles, I mean, right now, as you can see, this guy has shoulder armor here, and when he moves his arm up and down, the shoulder armor will move with it, oh, and that okay. plugs into the circles here. Oh, okay. So that's how the shoulder armor connects, and then it gives you a little bit more range of movement when you move his arm up and down because the shoulder, right. will, shoulder armor will move it with it. The plug, we're actually uh, making some little adapter plugs that go in here. One of them is going to be an adapter plug for wings. So mm. if you have somebody like the vampire or one of the demon guys, we're going to make some bat wings. I think this is the vampire, That's right? That's one of the vampires, yeah. yep. 
and this is he more, has the there's more vampires. Well, there will be. There aren't oh, yet. Okay. This is the first one, but he has a square plug. We have an adapter that will plug into here, and then you'll be able to plug wings into that. Right. And other things. There's other uses for that plug as well that we'll be That's revealing great. soon. This stuff is very, very exciting. Let me just uh, quickly show you guys a quick view. Look at this. High-end quality figures, four horsemen. You now, what you're it. seeing right here, show this. Aim it down okay. at this stuff here. You're seeing a dismantled uh, Spartan figure. It, it's uh, the, the guy's name is... Um, Starts with a V. Yeah, Vita, Vitus. Vitus. It's, uh, plus, there's like armor, uh, orc armor here. What you can do with these figures is they're highly modular. You can actually break them down, tear them apart, and rebuild them into other characters. I mean, this is a kind of a scrapped together orc Otho Vitus figure here out of multiple parts. And we designed them like that. We were they're originally going to be three and three quarter inch figures, right. and they were going to use the um, Glio system to plug them together. And so we always wanted them to be modular. Wow. But now that we started doing them at six inch, we were afraid that the factories wouldn't be able to make them modular and still have the articulation be nice and strong and sturdy. Mm -hmm. But they've knocked it out of the park, and it works great. Yeah. So you can actually mix and match and customize your own characters out of Mythic Legions figures as well. Now, Wave 2, you were talking to someone else, mm -hmm. and you said that you're going to go through Kickstarter again. We are. We're Wave 2, Mythic Legions 2 is going to be a Kickstarter. Um, we, our plans right now, we wanted to have it sooner, but I think our plans right now are going to be October or November of 2016 for that Kickstarter. Um, the and plan have elves too, right? Well, initially it's going to be mostly women. It's going to have some of the um, existing uh, Kickstarter, I mean, uh, Mythic Legions guys. Uh, one character that people have been requesting for a while that's definitely going to be part of Mythic Legions 2.0 is the uh, Black Knight. He may actually come sooner. We're, we're possibly going to be doing a wave in between Mythic Legions 1.5 and Kickstarter uh, Mythic Legions 2. Well, I guess we'll call it like 1.75 or something. We're not sure and yet. What but what would he look like? Would he look like a repaint of something like this? Kind of a repaint. We're mixing and matching some parts. He's going to be an evil character, so he's going to have more evil, malicious-looking armor. Oh, cool. But uh, a lot of fans have kind of voiced their opinion on what they think he should look like online. And people have even done some mock -ups. Oh, wow. Online. So we're taking that into account, too. You know, yeah. we know fans want it, and we know fans are the ones who help us back this line and put it together and get it out. So we're going to take your suggestions that you've already done online, and we're putting together a Black Knight. Um, but first and foremost, Mythic Legion 2.0 is going to consist of a lot of female figures. People have been asking, why didn't you do female characters in Mythic Legions 1? Well, it's because we're trying to build a bank of parts for these characters so we can create even more uh, Mythic Legions guys. Yep. So now we're going to do females, and the, some of the female parts, if we get far enough along with it and we meet stretch goals, we'll be able to do elves and things like that with them as well. Awesome. You know, I just had a great idea. Female vampire. Yeah, that's not a new idea. Oh. We've been. I mean, all these, all these races that we've been doing already, the orcs, the vampires, the dwarfs, even the bog yeah. goblins, we've talked about doing female versions of, and possibly even like skeletal and undead versions of as well. Well, you recently the sculpted a female undead. vampire for Diamond Select Toys, Universal mm, Monsters. No, we didn't. Lucy, um, that wasn't you? Nope. Who was no, that? No, we've not done any work for Diamond Select. Sorry. No, you know what? Sorry I'm to thinking of someone else. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, guys. I got confused. That's okay. So, let's see. The birds. Yes. Birds. They're now under the Mythic Legion. They are under the Mythic name. Legion's ban banner now, um, and they are actually in production now. Um, both the uh, what is it called the All Stars Wave and the Birds. I guess we're calling it 2.0. Um, they're in production now, and again, mid to late summer, I think, is when they're going to be in now. Right. Uh, that was part of the email that I sent out on Tuesday, asking what the ETA is. So, hopefully, we'll hear back from them on maybe. Tuesday when we get back into the studio and we can put an announce about, announcement out about exi exactly when those are going to be coming. That's exciting. Yeah. So, um, what else? Anything else you would like to share? Um, people have been asking about the troll production. They were part of the Mythic Legions 1.5 uh, pre-order. Mythic Legions 1.5 is going to come, but the trolls, it appears as if they're going to be take a little bit longer for production because they're rotomolded and they have to figure out how to make the 
the insert molded joints nice and tight and solid because we don't want these big monsters flopping over. So it's going to take a little bit longer for production. So we're expecting Mythic Legions 1.5, the four basic figures, um, to be in the studio midsummer, you know, early to midsummer, something, sometime like that. And then the trolls will follow probably in late summer, early fall. And when we get Mythic Legions 1.5 in at the studio, we will ship it out before we ship the trolls out just to make sure people get those and then we will take it on upon ourselves and pay for the shipping to ship the trolls out separately later on if you've placed an order and like got them both together they'll sh they'll have to ship out separately but we're going to go ahead and cover the cost of the shipping for the uh, trolls well, that's very nice of you thank you for that <laughs> yeah. now i'm looking at the skeleton some of those figures have cloth capes yeah they do um not just the skeletons but uh there are a couple of the knights that have cloth capes as well but one of the reasons well, for that yeah. is that like this guy you here, know, Tibius, has yeah, he's a, great. kind of a tattered cloth cape. Is he like a skeleton commander or something? Well, he's one of the top skeleton warriors, yeah. And then I over there, I can't say that, skeleton warriors. Yeah. You're stealing yeah, I guess from we October can't. toys. Yeah, I guess we can't use that term. No. Sorry, George. Sorry, George. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to use uh, skeleton yeah. warriors, but, you know, these skeleton guys. These skele use skeleton warriors, George. That's our... These skeletal guys that we're doing. Uh, but it's not only them, but there's a couple other characters um, that come with the capes as well. Um, the Blood Armor, the Blood Knight, uh, Vorgus, Vermilius, whatever you want to call the guy. Right. Uh, he comes with a cape, and there's a couple of the other knights, Gorgo Aetherblade and uh, Attila Leosir, all come with uh, capes. So we'll be doing more of that, and we'll be creating different capes and some different little soft goods materials that'll come especially with some of the female characters right. in the future waves that's awesome so anything you can say about uh, future plans snake uh, mountain snake example? mountain we sent off the uh, the final tooling pattern for that I think it's been close to two months ago okay. and that's all we really know about I mean okay. hopefully they'll they'll produce it and that what we send them is cost effective and they won't have to cut too much but We'll see. We're still in kind of a waiting and holding pattern for that stuff. Do you know if Snake Mountain is at Mattel, or do you have it? Oh, no. We sent it off to them. We sent it we off sent to it Mattel off. About, okay. about two months ago. Oh, okay. They have it. No, I meant the uh, the first one that's shown at oh, San Diego Comic-Con. We have... We, I don't we mean the update that you right. did. I mean the first one. No, we sent that. Mattel has that. Mattel has that. Yeah. We sent um, everything except for the molds for Snake Mountain to them. So oh, they okay. have everything in hand now, and it's ready to be produced if they're going to be producing it. Awesome. I hope so. I hope they do a pre-order. I've been trying to get information for months now from Andrew Sparks, but I just found out he's no longer there. Yeah, we just found out Andrew so, Sparks is no longer at the company, too. Yeah, they don't let anyone know when someone leaves. <laughs> yeah. you know, they kind of let you keep emailing the person. The emails don't bounce back, and so you're thinking the person's reading it and not responding. Oh, really? Wow. So, yeah. We well, don't really deal with the marketing end of things that much unless it's like, unless they want us to do a promo promotional thing like a a, a toy fair or, or you know a convention thing then we'll deal with the marketing people but we deal mostly just straight with the uh, the uh, designers over there so right. yeah. so I mean when Andrew when we the reason we didn't know Andrew Sparks was gone is because we didn't really have that much dealings with him other than doing yeah. the conventions and, and that kind of thing you know I met him at toy fair he kind of reminded me of Scott he's just so enthused about the yeah. toys and everything he seemed to really know the stuff you yeah, know, he was very enthusiastic. He's a great guy, and you know he's going to do a great job. I look forward to working with him for years, and you know, one day just no more. Yeah, strange. No, no I had no yeah, idea what happened there. Yeah, so I hope he's doing well, Andrew. If you're watching, I hope you're the best. All right, let me just show you this little dagger that goes with uh, orchid arms. Uh -huh. I'm going to call him orchid, orchid arms. Now that would get a suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, where does this go on them? Does well, this spin anywhere? A little strap. Oh, okay. It has a little thing here. You can either put his sword through it, or you can put the dagger through it, or you can put his mace through it. Oh, okay. There's a little extra strap on the strap there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, look at that. And the strap doesn't have to go here. You can hang it around his waist. That's that's one of the things about these things being modular. You can yeah. Set them up you any can way you switch want to. out any of the bodies. They all come with two shoulder pads, but you know you can have them one shoulder pad or no shoulder pads, well, yeah. however you want. You know you could take uh, his head, put it on a knight's body, yeah. for example, give him all arming, yeah. you know, all armor. Yeah. 
you know that'd be great so all right well thank you very much how thank is you. uh PowerCon treating you it's been fantastic like yeah. i said we sold out of the uh the unkins yesterday in less than an hour and then we did our That's panel crazy. yesterday so for the rest of the weekend we've been chilling and talking to fans it's been great this has been the most relaxing yeah. chilled out convention we've ever been to you know if you guys have never been to PowerCon and you're yeah. at all a Masters of the Universe fan at all, you got to come because yeah, you do. it's unlike any other convention you'll ever visit. It the is. The people here don't just come for the toys and the panels and stuff. They come for the camaraderie. But there's guys that we heard literally say yesterday they came here just so they can come and hang out with all their friends and the people that they've known through the Masters community. So it if is, you've missed yeah. it, don't miss it next time. No, don't. So thank you very much, thank CB. You. Always great to see you. Good Thanks, to see you too. Guys. Take care. And uh, make sure to follow Toy Hype USA on YouTube.